the science on which the net zero by 2050 target and thus the revised Climate Change Act are based has moved on. It's time to update the legislation. Let me explain why. The climate doesn't care about target dates. What matters is how much carbon is emitted into the atmosphere over the rest of this century. The IPCC has estimated that a global carbon budget, the total burnable carbon between 2018 and 2100, consistent with a 66% chance of 1.5 degrees warming, is just 420 billion tonnes of CO2. Now it's currently being burned at approximately 40 billion tonnes a year. On current trends, that gives us until 2030 at the latest, before that global carbon budget is used up. After that point, we would have to rely on costly and uncertain negative emission technologies to avoid global heating of more than 1.5 degrees. Historically, the UK has been one of the world's biggest emitters. We started the modern fossil fuel age with the Industrial Revolution. We're disproportionately responsible for the cumulative emissions in the atmosphere. So if you factor that in alongside the need to allow space for poorer countries to develop, a fair carbon budget for the UK looks like around two and a half billion tonnes of CO2 over that same period. If we calculate emissions on a consumption basis, that is if we take responsibility for carbon burned overseas in the service of UK consumption, we are burning through our fair carbon budget at more than 500 million tonnes a year. That gives us just five years before it's gone. That is the reality, that is the inconvenient truth. And that's why we urgently need to adopt the Climate and Ecological Emergency Bill, a private member's bill that I introduced into the House last year, which has the support so far of 98 MPs from eight different parties. <laughs>